everything is interlinked and interconnected. So when you improve the health of the humans, you can also improve the health of the animals. When you improve the health of the animals, you can also improve the health of the humans. I'm Dr. Gladys Kalemazik-Soka, founder and CEO of Conservation Through Public Health. I've been working with gorillas for 25 years. Back in the 1990s, it was not common to have vets working with wildlife. These animals are so affected by humans that you can no longer just leave them to be there for natural selection. You really need to have veterinarians. I became the first full-time wildlife vet in Uganda. I discovered that people were making gorillas sick. Gorillas lost their hair and started developing white scaly skin. It really did look like scabies. We started to really suspect that it came from humans and that's exactly what happened. When I became a vet, I thought I should only focus on wildlife. But having seen that the gorillas are getting sick from people, I realized I also have to start caring about the people. The One Health approach addresses the health of humans, animals and the environment together. So we find that we need to improve community well-being by improving their health, working with established community health workers and teach them to do conservation work. We also improve their livelihoods. We're building a brand community at our Gorilla Conservation Cafe. We only buy coffee from farmers bordering the park. People know that when they come and they're helping to save gorillas. We have a team of gorilla guardians. And once these local communities see the gorillas in their garden, they can call out the gorilla guardian and they'll safely herd them back without hurting anyone. We are currently engaging 500 coffee farmers, 119 gorilla guardians, 270 conservation team members who reach 30,000 people. When I first started, mountain gorillas used to be critically endangered and now there's a minimum of 1,063. Over time, the diseases that the gorillas are being exposed to are reducing. It shows that when you engage communities meaningfully, you can actually have a recovery of a population. So I'm very proud about that. All along this conservation journey, I've been seeing very few women. I hope I'm inspiring women and men to break those barriers, and we hope that through the award, we'll be able to inspire more people to adopt those approaches all around the continent. We need to change the way that we interact with nature, break those boundaries, challenge society norms, respect nature, act now before it's too late. Let's restore our relationship with nature. Join Generation Restoration.